Well, obviously by the thumbnail, you realize that I'm not out fishing today. Unfortunately, we got a huge squall line coming across the state with lightning and thunder and a lot of rain, which a lot of people frown upon that, but I'm excited because we need some rain really, really bad in Arkansas. All of our creeks, especially my favorite ones, are like a foot or less. I need them to be around three feet or more. So hopefully all this rain and flooding going on that uh, get the creeks back to a nice floating stage maybe we can go explore some more next week but until then i figured we'd go ahead and get the old kayak souped up a little bit trick it out you know what i'm saying so i got some uh, awesome new attachments for the old crescent light tackle from h24 outdoors he uh, called me he said i got two new items in i'm like okay what are they and uh one of them is this little front pod, front hatch insert. So I'm excited about that. And then yes, I finally got the seat riser. So I'll have to install that at some point too. But anyways, that's not what the objective is on this video today. Today, we're going to work on something super important that I've been wanting one for a while now, but I haven't had the time to design it or get one. And that is a cup holder. Yes, I need a cup holder on my kayak. Now, you know, your water bottles, stuff like that, your Yetis, um, that with the sealed lid on top, you know, they're okay laying down, laying flat in your boat. But, you know, occasionally I want to like a Mountain Dew or an energy drink, you know, that has to stay upright and it can't tip over because it's in a can. So that's when a cup holder is very useful. Or you can throw some baits and some other stuff in there as well. But this is my old cup holder. This is a Yak Attack cup holder. And unfortunately, with my kayak, I only have a few options on this kayak. You know, I can put it right here on these rails, but you know, I got a lot of stuff there already. Plus, uh, when you're paddling, you know, you could bump your hand into this or something. I was online searching and stuff like that, and Yak Attack actually has a scrubber uh, cup holder. Basically, it's this with a scrubber plug attached to it but unfortunately they're sold out so i got the idea i can do that myself and save some money at the same time that's what we got here now i could take this and go ahead and install this scrubber plug on the bottom of that you know make it a cup holder out of the one i already have so i went and got one of these at academy sports they also sell them at walmart that same line this is just a plastic cup holder. It's got some holes on the bottom. That way it will drain water already. So you don't have to drill any holes out. And it's pretty rigid plastic. If you look right there, it is constructed of good materials. It's very rigid. I mean, I can flex it, but you know, I can also flex this Yak Attack one too. Now the Yak Attack base is really, really rigid. It's a lot more dense than this, but it's still very, very strong. And I think it's gonna hold up well. But I got this at Academy Sports for $1.99. Super cheap. This was $20 without the scrubber plug. So $1.99 right there. And most of y'all already have some uh, scrubber plugs, probably that came with your kayak or that you ordered online through Amazon or whoever. And this is just one of those rubber scrubber plugs. This actually came with my light tackle. So it already came with my boat. And all I need to do is retrofit this where it's going to fit on that and plug in my scrubber hole. So here are the things you're going to need for this project. A drill, a scrubber plug, preferably a rubber one that has a good little center line where you can drill all the way through it. I'll explain that later. Uh, you need some stainless steel nuts and a bolt. Need some stainless steel washers. Now uh, this washer right here is the size of a quarter. I think the bigger the washer, the better because it's going to uh, spread that surface area out a little bit more where it's not gonna put a lot of pressure on that bolt head and crack right here. But pinching a washer here on the other side as well, it's gonna make that a lot more stronger and more rigid where it's not gonna break as easy on you. So got my stainless steel bolts. I got a uh, locking nut. Now I got your just a standard nut that doesn't lock. I'll explain that here shortly too. I got a, a small drill bit that lined up with my bolts. And then I have this 
drill bit. It's a lot bigger that lines up with this nut. And I'll show you that here shortly. But that's all you need. Super simple, just a few little items. Shouldn't take any more than two minutes. Let's get rolling. So first things first, we are going to have to drill a hole in the center of this cup. That way we can put our bolt through this hole in the middle. We don't have to push too hard. So we don't crack our plastic. All right, we got our uh, fifth hole there. What's next? We got our hole done. Uh, we need to remove this little lip on my scrubber plug that came with the light tackle. That way we can uh, install it flat on this surface here. So we're going to get the uh, hacksaw and just trim this piece off right here. There we go. Before I get rolling too far, uh, you want that uh, bolt to be long enough to go, you know, at the bottom of your cup holder and through the bottom of your scrubber plug. So if you look at this right here, see how it's just a little bit hanging underneath there, enough space to put my uh, locking nut on there. So when you uh, go get a bolt, make sure you uh, measure it out how long of a bolt you need depending on your scrubber plug. All right, we've got our big washer. we got our bolt on there. Go ahead and shove it through the hole. All right, that's what she looks like so far. We got our big washer. We got uh, the bolt going all the way through. Now we're gonna put a washer on this side, just uh, making this section right here a lot stronger. That way it won't be as fragile and break on us. Now I'm gonna put our non-locking nut on here to crimp these two together. 5 16 wrench. Just going to snug that up a little bit, not over tighten it because we don't want that plastic to break or anything like that. All right, that's really tight and secure, but didn't over tighten it. So that's what we got at the moment. Now we got to install this down on the bolt. So I'm going to drill a hole all the way through right here in the middle where it's coming out at the bottom. That way we can put our nut down there. Say, make sure we're still in the middle. Now, the reason I put this nut right here and we have the uh, thicker drill bit is because I want to embed this nut in this rubber a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and swap out our drill bits and kind of just recess this down just a little bit. Not gonna take much. Now that little baby nut is going to fit right in there, and it's just gonna make it a little bit tighter and more secure and less wobble. So that was the point of that. It's probably pointless, but we went ahead and did it anyways. So now we're going to get this all the way through here. Now, if you look, there's no gap where that nut was, so it's done recessed inside this uh, scrubber plug. So now all we got left to do is put the uh, locking nut on the bottom of that. I'm using my 3 8 wrench. This nut's a little bit bigger. Again, we don't want to over tighten it. Just we don't want to put a lot of stress on this plastic. But just enough where we know it's not going to come off of that. All right. Really inexpensive, cheap DIY project to have a scrubber plug cup holder. All right, now it's time for the true test. We're gonna give our DIY plastic cup holder scrubber plug insert a try. So uh, right here is where my seat goes. And right here is directly in front of my seat, right between my legs. And that's where I'm wanting it. It's out of the way, it's right there. I can reach down and grab it real quickly. I don't have to reach forward or anything be right here in my way. I'm gonna take it and go ahead and just plug her in. She's 
it's gonna work nicely. And that plastic is pretty rigid. Like, I think if I bump it out or anything like that, there's no cracks or anything in that surface. And I was slapping it pretty hard, so. So it's very, very sturdy, so I'm excited. Well, I told you it was gonna be short and sweet, and that was a super inexpensive, quick, easy DIY project. So, I mean, you can go out. I think uh, Yak Attack does have a scrubber plug version out, but unfortunately you can't get a hold of them right now. And uh, this is gonna cost you, you know, $25, $19, somewhere in there, depending on where you buy it at. Versus this right here, $2. And I just had the scrubber plug already from my kayak. And I got maybe two to three dollars in stainless steel products right here. So very cheap, inexpensive project to uh, make your life a little bit more enjoyable on the water. Hopefully you enjoyed this little uh, short DIY project video. Um, hopefully the rain will uh, pass by and we can get back on the water and do some fishing. But until then, thanks for watching. I hope to see you on the next adventure.